Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this shoulder bag. To make this bag I'm going to use a size 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and two strands of worsted weight yarn. To make this bag start with any number of chains you like. This is the bottom of the bag so make your chain as long as you would like to have the bottom of your bag. In the second stitch from the hook make five single crochet. One, single crochet in each stitch of the chain. So single crochet in every stitch of the chain and in the last stitch you're going to make five single crochet. Okay, I single crocheted in every stitch across the chain and in the last stitch I made five single crochet. And I'm going to work down the other side of the chain and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch across the row of chains. Like that, I'm going to finish all the way down. Okay, I've worked all the way down that side of the chain and I've reached the end of the row and I'm going to slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And I always start working in the second stitch because this chain one takes the place of the first stitch and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch around. So I'm going to work all the way down one side all the way back and then slip stitch to join. Okay, I've worked all the way around and now at the end of the row I'm going to slip stitch to join. Now this is going to be the bottom of your bag so now I'm just going to repeat row after row of chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch around, slip stitch to join. So I'm going to work a few rows and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, I've done as many rows as I need for the length of my bag. But you can make your bag any size you like. If you start out with a longer chain on the bottom, you'll have a wider bag. And if you add more rows, you'll have a taller bag. Fasten off. And there's the bottom of the bag. You can see that it has a flat bottom. Now I'm going to show you how to do the straps. To make the straps, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch of the chain. Like that. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch across the row. Repeat, chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row till the strap is as long as you need it to be. When your strap is as long as you would like it to be, bring both ends together, being careful not to twist it, to slip stitch to join, pass the hook through both sides, and then bring the yarn through. Like that, fasten off with about a 20 inch long yarn end. Thread one of the yarn ends into a yarn needle. Pushing the strap on the bottom of your bag so that the slip stitched seam is right in the center bottom. Attach the strap to the bag. If you have enough yarn, you can just stitch across and then stitch down the other side. And on the opposite side, thread the other yarn end into a needle and sew the handle on the other side. Okay, I have both of my straps on now. Now I'm going to make the tab that goes in the center here. Chain seven. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch of the chain. Like that. Chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row. Repeat for six more rows, like that. To make the buttonhole row, chain one and turn, single crochet in the next two stitches. Chain five, single crochet in the next stitch and in the next stitch, like that. 
fasten off. Weave into the finished work. Thread the other yarn end into a needle. Center it on one side of your bag. Sew it on. 